Hello and welcome to The Wrap Studios. I'm Beatrice Verhoeven. We're at the Sundance Film Festival and I'm about to talk nine days with writer-director Edson Oda and the giant cast that we have right mm -hmm. here. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank so you. excited to chat about the movie. Lots of hype. Um, wanted to start with you, Edson. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your inspiration for this movie and how it all came together. Yeah, I think the main inspiration, uh, especially for the main character, is my uncle. And uh, my, my uncle, he when he was 50, he and was 12, he committed suicide. And he was such a, a talented and very sensitive person. But uh, And then uh, I remember at that time, uh, it's always it was almost like we forgot everything that uh, he he's done so far, and we focus so much on his everyone, you know, who uh, heard about those news, just focused so much on what he did when he took, took his life. And uh, it was pretty much, like, very impactful for me in seeing now, back now, and trying to understand what he went through and I, when it was right in nine days I was pretty much trying to connect, reconnect with my uncle and at the same time trying to instead of just like judging him through what he did um, more trying to uh, see the life that he lived and try to celebrate his life as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what drew you all to the project maybe Winston you can start because you play the main character there are a lot of things that drew me to the project um, I uh, first met with Jason Berman, the producer, and after meeting him, I realized that we shared the same like artistic mission, and I knew I wanted to work with him. So uh, this project came up, and immediately I read the script, and that vision came through in the script <laughs> as well. So that was like the first like impetus, and then um, seeing that will went on this amazing journey that's one of the things that always uh draws me to a character first and foremost first and foremost is that they change from where you meet them to where they end at the end of the story and the journey is just compelling and it, it's a mountain to climb and then there was just so much opportunity for me to learn something as a person you know there was some something that my body in that script and my body telling that story adds to it and changes it because if it's another man the story changes completely um, but even just seeing Edson's uncle I at first when I read the script I had these pre you know pre ideas of what depression looked like right and then along the way Edson shared this huge package of personal items of his uncle with me like his uncle's art and that his uncle was an artist, but never got to practice his art professionally. He was uh, a translator? He was a translator. Yeah, yeah, so he was a translator. And it was this young, really good-looking guy who was fit and happy and had all this stuff. And I was like, mm -hmm. it didn't match the image I had in my head. And immediately I was just learning things, you know, as, as this process went along. So it was just the right thing. In, in, in a three-dimensional way, in every way. Bill? The script came to me, and I read it, and uh, um, it's a very unique script. You know, it's a very original story. It's very, you know, creative, and, and, and he's kind of built this, you know, surreal world that I think that we haven't seen before. So I thought that was so interesting. And then I met Edson, and we had a, you know, hour-and-a-half lunch, and mm -hmm. we talked about... If, you know what the meaning of life is and <laughs> you know if 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 being born is such a good idea after all and like all these things um, um this kind of anti-natalist uh, view on it. i mean it was very interesting i think that, that what's so what speaks so much about the project is that it that it um it you read the script or you know hopefully it's the same thing when you watch the movie you you you, you know you, there, you're, you're left with a lot of you know these kind of archaic questions but they've been around forever you know mm -hmm. but why are we here and and and, and what's the point <laughs> of it all and uh, um you know who should live or who deserves to live which is obviously what uh winston's characters go through he's like he, he 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 has that power to pick someone who's who deserves that chance and um you know he he made an excellent choice. <laughs> <laughs> the script initially drew me, but then I couldn't stop thinking about the script. 
And I w- had been auditioning for other things. And once I was sort of done with a flurry of auditions for a couple of weeks, I was back on the script. And so I started Googling Edson and I found his website and started obsessively watching all of his short films. <laughs> I was like stalking you creatively, you know. And the very first one that I watched, I just randomly clicked on it. It was the proof of concept for one of my scenes. And I was a wreck. <laughs> I was a wreck. So his work really... The script itself, but then watching his work was really exciting, and oh, yeah. <laughs> and it it, it, you know, hey, just much, much the same. I mean, I just remember when we all came to do the read through. It was um, just very powerful already, and it was already there. The script was there, and just uh, everyone's just faith and love within the project, and uh, you know, just obviously we're 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 here, but. Uh, we're, um, there's the crew as well behind that, and yeah. everybody turned in and did a shift, you know, yeah. a big shift. Yeah. Meeting Edson and hearing his story um, with his uncle and where it came from, and um, essentially also, you know, it feels almost as if he's processing something through making this and writing this and bringing it to life, and um, I think that really resonated with me. and. The script, I just, uh, I just really loved it, and I, I wanted to be a part of the team. There was already a bunch of cast attached that I, I wanted to work with, and I thought was really going to continue to elevate the story. And um, so, yeah, I was honored to be a part of this project. Yeah. Um, when I first read this, when you're reading the script, it, it hits it hits your mind right away because the world it's it's a new, new philosophy, and then as you read it, it hits your heart, and then by the end, it's kind of hitting your soul. And, and, and very few scripts have all a, a, a big enough cast that all go through arcs. And so, not only is there there's a soulful movie, but each one one of us has an individual arc that's that's well thought out, and it fits into this kind of more macro story. And and that, I was really drawn to to that. 